We're here at the Great Salt Lake Truck Show, here with Industrial Injection. So much cool stuff here, big trucks everywhere. The people in the trucking industry are great people. There's a lot of people here with fleets. There's a lot of guys here that are independent truckers and you can tell that they really give a heck about their trucks. That's what's so fun is like putting all the time and effort that went into this truck and then coming out here and actually seeing some of the work that these guys put into these trucks is amazing. And all the proceeds from here go to support kidney patients. We do it for the families and for the kidney patients. So any of the kidney disease patients, families, they get to go to Aspen Grove for a weekend and spend time away with their families and it's all paid for by the truck show. We're gonna go walk around. I wanna show you guys what's going on here and show you some really cool trucks. He was onto something with this flame job. <laughs> I can't believe you sat there and pissed on a Kenworth. <laughs> If it was a freight liner, I'd have probably taken a shit on it. But. Uh, well, yeah, I, I would have too. <laughs> what motor's in that one? 3406. That blade's pretty friggin' nice, too. Yeah. This is four years old. The blade? Yeah. That's a nice truck. Yeah, big old 10 wide, you know. God, I can go 72,000 pounds back there on them tritums. When we first bought it, he wouldn't let nobody load, or, load it or nothing. Oh, yeah. I kept telling him, I can load that thing. I can load it. He watched me four times before he... Let okay. you do it. Yeah. That's an expensive piece of machinery. 500,000 bucks. But I mean, for four years old, it looks great. That's a, that's a, that's a badass rig. She's kind of sinking, isn't she? Oh. <laughs> you think? I mean, it's not like I'm lacking for power. Mm -mm. If you don't start walking that way, I'll just keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> He's 67 and got open heart surgery. He's done some shit in his life. Yep. I guarantee you, he's seen some shit that we don't even want to see. <laughs> oh, ooh, my welding shirt. See, I weld these till the sleeves get ripped off and then I'll cut the sleeves off. You too, sir. Good luck out there. Take care of yourself. Three million miles. Plus. Plus, because it's still going. Yeah, that's a lot of miles. So this is a 12V71. Those are the ones that are the most, most notorious. Yeah. The 71, the 53, and the 92. But what that number is, is cubic inches per cylinder. So that'd be, you know, 53 cubic inch per cylinder. Or 91, or 91, 91, 91 cubic. Depending on the, so that's, 73 is a pretty common one. And this is a 450 horse, so I'm thinking it's a, a, a 91. Yeah. So it'd be a 12V71. Yep. And then you got two superchargers. Two superchargers. And these are actually 671 superchargers. Yep. So a lot of the guys, the hot rodders, when they started putting superchargers on their hot rods, they would put these blowers on them. These are a little different. If you have this, there's a, there's a motor that uh, Detroit makes that is a 671. And the 671 is an inline six cylinder. 71 cubic inches per cylinder, but the supercharger bolts on the side of the motor, and that's the one that everybody uses for a hot rod supercharger, because they can adapt them to an intake manifold for a big block Chevy, a boat, the Cummins, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we've yeah. done that. They have such a unique sound to them when they drive. They go down the road, they just scream. Every time the, the piston comes up, it fires. World War II and Vietnam, it, this is what tanks. they ran. These were in yeah. tanks, they were in their boats, they, yeah. I mean, this everything. Boat. And then this motor, what makes it unique is if you want to do another motor, you just, you bolt it to the back of this motor. Yeah. And they uh, buzz them 24, this is a buzz and dozen. So you can just keep adding. adding to them and they would do that in ships. So during the war and some of the battleships, yep. the destroyers, they had probably two buzz and dozens in there. So they had two motors or one pushing or, the prop. Or they would have five or six sets of two or three motors hooked up running different different yeah, props. Right. So. This intake right here actually has a guillotine is what they call in it. So a lot of times these old motors would run away. And the reason why when they start getting old and they wear out, the gaskets start leaking. And if you get any amount of oil or antifreeze, I don't care if it starts sucking it in the motor, it'll run off. 
and it'll run past it'll run the governor. Stuff, yeah. <laughs> it'll run past the governor because it won't be governed no more. So the governor sits right up here in the front, but you that just gets deleted. Because if you're getting straight um, oil, oil from like a, a leaky seal inside the motor, so you hear a lot of times like the Detroit Super run away, a lot of the diesels will run away. Anytime you go past the governor and you're just spraying stuff right in the turbo, it's gonna go away, it's gonna run off. But these are the ones that are no notorious for, for the runaway. And um, <laughs> there's some great YouTube videos on it. So, <laughs> you seen the one with a kid? He fires it up with his girlfriend and oh, she, yeah. she's filming him. And he's like, yeah, and it's all whoa, whoa, whoa. And then, whoa, whoa, whoa. And you can see it, you can, you see, can see him in the video go. And then it just <laughs> takes off. He pulls his hat off his head and shoves it in the turbo and kills it. It's hilarious, it's a good video. Another thing too that we learned today, and, and Steve can attest to this, is what this cable's for. <laughs> yeah. See this cable that's just hanging out like somebody forgot to do something? This cable is designed to hook right up here so that if the wind, and you're working on this, the wind blows this hood over, it Grabs stops it. so it doesn't smoosh it in here. Yeah. We learned that this weekend. Hard way. It's pretty neat. Because yeah. we both got our heads pinched off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm Ricky Miller. I live in Lehigh here. The truck's a 46 Ford, chopped six inches. It's got a 460 Ford, yeah. tunnel ram, straight exhaust, 33185 slicks. I drive it on the street to all the car shows. Have about 1,500 miles on it within the last year. Took 800 cubic feet of argon, everything's TIG welded. From the ground up, I built it. It's got a 1946 reproduction tractor grill, so that stays Ford, it's a Ford tractor. The motor's 460 Ford, so I kept it Ford. It's got little touches. License plate goes up and down in the back, so it shows it's not showing so bad on the street. The police can see it. Run an aerodynamic wing tubing for a rear bumper, and the front spreader bar has aerodynamic wing tubing. 12-gauge sawed-off shotgun between the seats that does work. The rims and the ratchet shifter and the Uga horn are out of the mid-'80s, early-'70s. Maintenance, about every thousand miles or a little under I got to change the oil on it replace gaskets because it's an older style motor not like the new style where the gaskets last and tires the rears used to be 350 a tire now they're up to 650 a tire so I drive it a little easier and the skinny little front tires that don't look like anything are 225 a tire now So we're out here at the Great Salt Lake Truck Show. We're out here with Steve Darnell and all of his cool rat rods from Welder Up. We've got a bunch of stuff out here on display. It's been a great show. We're like in the market for selling turbochargers, injectors, parts for all your big trucks. You know, we have light duty stuff. We have big, big truck stuff. And uh, it's been really awesome. This has been a great show. A lot of kids out here, families, tons of people. They're getting ready to do a truck pull. And it's been such a great, great experience and a great time. El Diablo Loco is getting tons of people over here checking it out. It's been an awesome time and we appreciate Steve being a part of it and can't wait for the next one. You know they're here, they chose number 27, Industrial Injection. I just want to say thanks for having me out. You guys are great. Everybody's been friendly. Some, I, I got to be careful what I say, but you guys got some sick trucks out there. And uh, keep it going, man. This, this next generation needs you guys to teach them. And all your kids out there, I can see they, they got a plan. So congratulations on your, your kids and how you raise them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being a good time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>